Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Coming live from Fire Up Your Heart, Children of God. Alright, so I said we'd have a chicken day, and there was definitely some stuff I had wanted to discuss. But I just trail off, and today I'm noticing a lot of the dog's frequency is is, is off mine, and then mine gets affected. Um, and then can you imagine what little chickens are feeling? And um, so here they are. So they're out of the gate. But Poe already put his nose almost through this the other day. And I, I'm one of those that I really try not to lose hope. I can tend to seem to be more of, you know, it's we're doomed. But I think I was supposed to be a doomsday a warner. That was how God warned me. Or excuse me, that's how God, um, why I was born. I'm a doomsday warner. Um, and that's the thing that I was born under. And, um, so this is, I named them and, uh, it's Rosé and Champagne and the Six White Chicks. Um, I think that's hilarious. And I would sing them a little tune right when they came home. And every day I do at least at one or two verses. It's gotten kind of old though, so it's annoying me. But, um, it's Rosé, Champagne, the Six White Chicks are here to save the world. Rosé, champagne, the six white chicks are here to rock your world. Laying some eggs to feed some people. Laying some eggs every day. Oh. But right now they're busy with growing and... All right, I just added all that. Isn't that horribly annoying? That's kind of why I did it. Because it was entertaining. and But it gave them something that um, they would remember. It's me when I come to feed them. And clean their bed area when they started in the shed. We had them in the dog box upside down. It's an extra large dog house. Uh, would have been big enough for, I'm not sure, Great Dane. Great Dane maybe could have gotten in. I mean, but anything like, you know, a hundred pound dog. Um, even Poe, he could go in. I keep thinking Poe is a rough 200. See, like I got to hurry in. Because see, Rosie and Champagne, actually, they want to meet the dogs. and But see, Poe already broke all of John's hard work of rolling out the chicken coop. I had hurt my hand a few times in a strange way. So I was just there to help, like, encourage. And, um, he, and we came up with the idea of the layout. And because we had still wanted the dogs to be able to come over here. And then I was going to extend back over beyond there uh, but now I'm realizing like uh, maybe we should have just brought it over but I think the way it's figured out we'll figure it out I think instead of the gate we're working with the gate thing idea is um have the gate and then maybe have I think that we're just gonna have to go over behind there and, um, I think the stuff I saw set up here to hurt us and make us fall down and it literally was, and it's so disturbing. And then there was this black mulch stuff, bark that was moldy and the hit won't stop. And he's actually been hurt. So I've, I've raked that out of here. Mostly I keep having to rake more. But I'm really shocked with, oh, oh, gosh, you can't let go of Poe's leash. Hip I'm not worried about, but when they first went out the door today. And then I'm not kidding that I think this is a little disturbing. Like, this stuff would have really made me mad before. Not mad, but like bratty, irritated. That the dogs match the chickens, you guys. In a way, look at the colors. And that we didn't even, that was just not what the... These chickens were, were all in the same bin together, and the two were left, and I didn't know why. And they're supposed to all be hens. Um, Poe, don't do that thing where you... Come on, don't. I am I am worried, though. What if he's not going to get it? Because they're hunting dogs, for God's sakes. And I wanted them to be around chickens when they were little. 
And so the colors actually do match a lot, and that's really funny. So I'm like, I wonder what this horrible program is going to do next. Kill the chickens, do something weird. Have they already done something to them? Um, so I have all this back thing primitively fenced. I call primitive because it's... See, you guys, can we just... Don't you want to get eggs? So then now I'm still trying to be hopeful and say... Well, the dogs um, straighten up. Oh, anyways, there was these bricks around here. And they're a lot like these. But the dogs had already gotten hurt. And I love that there's all these bricks. But these are horribly rough. I would never have picked them. But they're great. And that kind of stuff's a lot of money. It really is. Oh, God, I wasn't even thinking of selling the pool. Or what, like, make it a living pool. That's something that my son would have liked. But, um, well, that was falling apart. But I am, we have a net to go above for hawks and stuff. Um, like, I'm concerned about even, you know, taking the dogs out front for fear of what will happen. So let's see if we can get a good, good shot of the chickens. So Rosé and Champy and the six like chicks. You guys, I am just having fun. And if that gets labeled as racist or something, then nobody knows how to have fun anymore. I know there's like really gorgeous chickens. We were just at a, a mini farm. It's called Calder Berry Farm. And they've got so many animals now, it's nuts. And especially peacocks and stuff. And John and I were just like, I wish that we could have been a little more ready and uh, I wasn't concerned that I might go beforehand. Um, is uh, there's because there's just these concerning things. It was mainly after the final Donald Trump thing, and then Charles Abel, the sex cop, got at it. Big things he said for it. Um, I think should we have maybe done four chickens? <laughs> I hope I can give them enough play area. Um, aren't they funny? They're so funny. All of them. And there's one of the white chicks. And she is such a girl. And um, it really contagious. One or two of them. And <laughs> I can't keep track of the white ones at all. I hope that there's a way to tell the difference as they get bigger. But the one white one, she'll even wait. She's just, it's like she's always like rebel rousing with them. Just to be a brat. <laughs> there's one, see, do girls see that? Like I'm so concerned something went wrong at the farm store. Oh my God. It's farm and home. It said they came from Zealand, Michigan, I believe. Oh, <gasps> see, he just did it again. See, and he just he can't it, he can't get it out of his head. I feel kind of bad for him because I don't think he wants to do it. Like it's like he does, but he doesn't. <laughs> he just can't take it. <laughs> and I've tried to tell him that we're gonna get chicken and like all this stuff. We'll go around the back here, kind of just do an unwind. We had the baby duck incident. It seemed so weird. Last year at the scary neighborhood where we were about five feet away from each other and I figured <laughs> if it wasn't me, uh, it was me and Dave were going to be the last, like it was the last standoff when I saw him chucking shit at the siding. And um, so like I have to even be careful over here and I don't even like that I have this exposed. I surveilled this property a lot when there wasn't any snow on the ground, but it was super, super cold. And I knew most, I got most of this area, but what scares me is I'll find some random piece of glass. And it's really getting disturbing because I've heard about this with other people that are harassed extensively by more than one um well, technically, 
groups, uh, government agencies. And we've had more detailed shows in the past where I was learning more about it. And um, I know I've been really obnoxious. And I know people don't know why I am. Some of it is brokenness. Um, some of it is um, I have to get intense because... People do not know what is going on. And everyone is in some sort of, oh, you don't want to look at dog poop. <laughs> Everyone's in some sort of, um, well, a lot more people are in this thing to hurt people. And the, cr the groups are getting larger. So I think they've been able to almost treat it like a fantasy football, like gambling event. And so when they have like a prime cut of, specimen so to speak um like for instance i was a childhood athlete my family came and became like big dogs in a small town and um i didn't want any part of it i actually just wanted to go like to some art school somewhere with dance and something like that i wanted to do missions trip i really just wanted to do as much as i could do before i died I mean, that was really how I was as a young person before all the scattered brain and frequency and doctor tortures and all of it is, I just wanted to like travel the world like Paddington Bear. Literally, I was like, this is the silliest kid story, Paddington Bear. But I loved it. It was school and my one teacher was like obsessed with it fourth grade she had everything of Paddington Bear and um am I just like getting the fence I'm trying to get so you can see him like he's already got the one why are you guys trying to get over with them are you trying to end it quickly see they're flying too high so we got a net like they had it at this one called the farm we went to I'm all over come on guys stop because I don't plan enough, and I just come on here yapping. Why are they coming? Qu All right. So everything's just too cute, and it matches too much, and I'm like, oh, my God, this must be where we get offed, or I get offed. I mean, because I pretty much waited my whole life for, like, something that never, ever happened. And I probably, I hate to say it, I probably would have been more of like, my parents' generation would call it a vagabond. Um, it really bothered them that I didn't worship money. I knew that if I could figure out just enough money to just travel, something like that. And, you know, I could sit and uh, this whole twisted story narrative around my son is so disgusting. I wanted to have my son more than anything. I would have, I would have him over a million times. Now, <laughs> maybe with a little more wisdom, a little more wisdom. And we're going to see if the chickens are smart enough to go back in their little run. I think they were yesterday or maybe they just had kind of like a, um, a close call. So they ran in. So we're just going to take a short job because everyone's not well today. And I don't know why, because we did a lot of resting yesterday because of the rain. And Pitt tends to hurt himself playing too hard because he, they don't have like a pain. They're, they're the thing, they do where I think they've hurt each other. We don't know it. They don't cry. They just don't feel pain. I mean, literally, I've seen them with injuries, like a blood, like They'll knock their, they knock their head into something in the yard or something. Like something, you know, that would hurt. And they'll just have to, like, they don't even know. So, I've checked most of these areas, but like I said, you know, I don't know. I mean, I say, oh, it's just where you dump glass, right? The whole area? The whole area? Did they think I was still walking around barefoot? No, they want to hurt the dogs. It's always hurt the dogs, 
scare her, hurt the dog, scare her, hurt the dog, scare her, destroy the property, destroy the cars, destroy the property, destroy the cars, destroy their lives, destroy their lives. You guys, if you don't see that you're behaving like satanic demons that are in these programs and you extend it out with retired police and everything, it's disgusting. And you will all rot in hell for this. And the fact that you don't even know that you're doing it to people or you pretend that you're not doing it because you get a new kitchen remodeled or whatever and um, or whatever you're getting brand new. So when you see God on Judgment Day, regardless if it's now or in the next lifetime or we're all dead for 100 years and then you go to judgment, you're going to go to judgment the minute your damn ass dies. And when you go to judgment on that day you die and God gives you some days to kind of look over what shit you've done and you see that you're going for the gates of hell, you're going to wish that you never did this to people. You're going to wish you didn't coordinate neighborhoods, country settings, grills, towns, and bars, and government. You're going to wish you never did it because you're going to burn in hell. Do you understand me? Do you think I'm saying this to be mean? Who is being mean? You guys are destroying people's lives. You're killing them. For a new kitchen? Or what? New car? Huh? Have a good day.